my daughter Monroe comes up to me and goes, Dada, you want to dance? You want to dance? You want to dance? And so we put on Bieber or BTS and literally just like be like, smooth like butter. <laughs> <laughs> You're used to competing, so how much of that energy, how fired up are you for Dancing with the Stars? Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm trading in skull-crushing finale, skull crushing finales for Paso Dobles. Are you ready with the Paso Doble? Uh, no, I'm not ready for the Paso Doble. I'm not ready for the Argentine tango. I'm not ready for a waltz, a foxtrot, a jive, a freestyle. Uh, I'm ready for a running man. That's about it. Okay, but you know your dances. Did you do flashcards, or how are you just I, I, You're studying. Are you kidding me? All I've been doing is watching the best of and the worst of dances that's ever been done in Dancing with the Stars. Really? Yes. When did you find out you were doing the show? How long have you been preparing? Like, I, well, I mean, studying, like, I would say a month, maybe. Wow. If that. Okay. Yeah, so I have been nonstop just watching videos, seeing what they're doing. I've been studying, like, like so I'll look at, like... <laughs> I'll go on like YouTube or the internet and I'll be like, all right, what, what, how do, what do you do with your hands in ballroom dancing? And one of the things was uh, you look at the time and you drop it down. Look at the time, drop it down. Look at the time, drop. So that's what I've been studying. And then I, showed, I, sh I showed it to my dance partner and she was like, no. Oh, no. No. And I go, well, what do you do with your hands? You know, like I always see them doing stuff with their hands, you know? She's like, you were on the wrong she, yeah, YouTube she, video. Yeah, you're, you're not, she's like, don't worry about that yet. Worry about your hips. Okay, show and me so, something you've learned so okay, far. Okay, so this is the figure eight. This is what I'm, I mean, these these hips don't lie. I mean. They're telling the truth. I mean, they are telling the truth. Do you see that figure eight? I've, I've never. I mean, you cannot look. You're, you're trying not to, but you can't help but just look at my hips. Are you nervous? Petrified. Like, I'm petrified before I even go out in WWE in front of a live audience. I'm I'm nervous. I feel like I'm going to faint. I've got butterflies in my stomach. My throat has knots. Uh, and honestly, when I hear my music and hear the crowd either boo or cheer me, either or, uh, it all goes away. And it, it, it's all worth it in the end because I've been able to experience those, those type of feelings. So I always embrace the nerves and embrace the fear um, because, I don't know, I two daughters that I want to basically raise to know that you can fail, but as long as you did your best and you tried hard, you'll learn more with your failures than your successes. Well, you are somebody who worked so hard, I mean, to, to make your way up in the WWE. What do you think is going to be harder? That you proving yourself there or proving yourself on Dancing with the Stars? Honestly... I've played a villain for the past 16 years in WWE. I've played the most egotistical, arrogant. I've cheated to win. So now I'm coming on Dance with the Stars, and I need you to vote for me. So you tell me what's going to be very difficult in here. I go on against JoJo, the most likable person I've ever met in my entire life. She is so positive and just full of energy, and I'm just like, oh my god, like okay, people well, are just gonna your, vote for her. What's in your arsenal? What are you telling the people? What do you mean? What am I telling them? You're Don't a dad. watch me in WWE no. because I was a bad guy and you wouldn't have liked me then. No, I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna be genuine. I'm gonna be real, and hopefully people will like me. And if they don't, you know, you're not liking me. So it's it's who you're getting. Okay. This is it. This is all I got. That's the thing, though. On this show, everybody, you go on an emotional journey. You you have episodes where you look back on your life. You get introspective. What are we going to see from you? What are you going to get into? Oh, my goodness. I, I, I don't know. Like, honestly, I, I don't know. I mean, my life has been incredible. Like, I'm, I'm married to the love of my life, uh, the girl of my dreams. Uh, I have two beautiful daughters, a three-and-a-half and a, a two-year-old, who, by the way, turns two on September 20th, which is the premiere of Dancing with the Stars. So I've got to play dad all morning long, uh, give her the best birthday she'll never remember of her entire <laughs> life, but we'll take a ton of pictures and then go hopefully dance very, very well for her. You can say happy birthday on the show though, that's amazing. I know, how yes. great would that be? Like, you know, daddy wishes you a happy second birthday and she'll remember it for the rest of her life, hopefully, because she'll get to see it. Well, and I'll tape. replay it all day, every day. Every birthday. It'll be, <laughs> It'll be like frozen in our house on on a constant loop 100% of the time. What does your wife think you do in the show? Uh, honestly, she's the one that said, you're doing the show. Like, she's been my backbone, my support. Uh, you know, she makes me a better me 
Um, and so, man, like when I got back from my first day of training, she goes, she goes, show me. And I go, show you what? She goes, show me the dance. And I go, well, well, I don't really. She no, let's go now. And I'm like, yes, yes, ma'am, let's go. So we literally were doing some of this, some of the moves. So I was trying to show it to her. Oh you. yeah, she's oh. she's she's on point. She wants me to win, and I'm like, look, I just want. No, you want to win. And I go, okay, yes, I do. I want to win. Are we gonna see you cry? Cry? Why would people for, cry why? on this? Honestly, show. I'll tell you what. I'll give you an, an honest answer. I'm watching all these top dances of Dance with Stars, right? And I watch Derek Huff and his sister do this amazing dance where there's a father and a mother and their children and they're they're separated and they told an entire story of this family with zero words only their moves and afterwards i just couldn't help but being like oh my gosh and i'm like no I, i'm not gonna no not all my so beautiful. We're gonna see you get. They have the most memorable year episode. Like I, I, I'm thinking you're gonna get emotional, Dad. I don't mind getting emotional. I have no I problem. Like some people are like, I don't cry. I never cry. And it's like, you know, I think it's stronger if you you feel your emotions. Well, I'll let you go, but uh, another wrestler, Nikki Bella, she went pretty far on this show. Have you talked to her at all? Has she given me any tips? I haven't talked to her. I, I've talked to her a little bit, uh, but no. I mean, her her husband. Is or not husband, but yeah. her, 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 uh, partner. Her, partner, yeah, her partner, the person that she's with, is literally in this contest. Yes. So I don't think she's going to give me any advice. She's going to stand by her to Yeah, she's going to stand by her she, she better. I think she should. I love getting critiqued. Like, whenever I walk back from a match, and the first person I see is Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon will either give you a thumbs up, or he'll be like, come here. This is what you're doing wrong, blah, 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 blah. And I'm always one of those people that I enjoy those critiques because yeah. it's going to make me better. And so I look forward to their critiques. Uh, uh, I, I generate towards more of negativity. That, that, that fuels my fire more than positivity, if that means anything. And most people like to be praised. I like to be told you're horrible and this is what you need to do better because that will light a fire under me and I will literally want to prove you wrong. Okay, we're gonna and look I to Len. I don't know why I, I like that. Well, Len's got you covered on that. Oh, uh, d d yeah. definitely. <laughs> I, I, he wasn't here last year and I was like, is he back? Is he back? And they're like, oh, he's back. And I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, get your pen and paper ready because you're gonna have a lot of notes on this guy. New season of Atlanta. Yes. What is going on? When are we getting it? And we're hearing possible cast shakeup. Definitely cast shake up, um, and I think somewhere in October. Well, what is the cast shake up, Kenya? Uh, some new faces and some old faces not there. Okay. Yeah. W will we see you there? We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we say yes. <laughs> Well, we'll see. Okay. Is there anybody from the past who you have ever wanted to bring back or who we could see back again? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I, I love the, the oldies for goodies. I, I love the OGs, as they call them. I know you saw Phaedra over the weekend. She was at Greg's uh, repass. Yes. I did see Phaedra. We also spoke. We took photos together. We had a good conversation. Listen, Phaedra, you know... She, the fans love Phaedra, obviously, and I don't think that it would be a bad idea to have her back. I think it would be very interesting. Kenya, you're getting me very excited. Um, <laughs> here's the thing, Atlanta never- Don't get excited because I can't say okay. anything. I don't really know anything, but yeah. <laughs> okay. When are you filming? Um, they're looking at October, but it's not finalized yet. But I think October. Okay. The thing is, Atlanta never disappoints. Yes, never. Atlanta never disappoints. Yeah. Anybody who's gone who you're glad is gone? Uh, you know, you never want to be in a situation where you're fighting with someone all the time or who is your enemy. So if an enemy is not there, then probably I would be happy for that. Oh, twirl. <laughs> be Kenya Moore. Okay. Um, and you know, I got to ask you about the All Stars show. Yes. The fans have been waiting for this for years. Uh, it, it finally happened. So good. What was filming like? When I tell you is the best show that I filmed. What? Yes. It is so good. It was so amazing filming it. Different from anything that I've ever experienced. 
the girls were outstanding. Like, it was just like, it was so, it was like a symphony, you know? Mm. It was just magic everywhere you looked. Because you had the, the top people. There. You had the top people, but they were all, you know, interesting. What they brought to the table was different. We broke the fourth wall a lot. Oh. So then they would reveal how they felt in this moment or what really happened. or, And it was just like, it was just like pulling back that veil and just really seeing what it's like to be a housewife. Which I love. They, sometimes they used to air specials that showed more. Yes, and I yes. loved that. Yeah. Okay. No, it was like one big special, but with the drama between these ladies who don't actually work together. Okay, well, that's a question I had. Where does the drama come from? Because some of you are not close with each other. You're not on the same seasons. We're women. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to ask this question? <laughs> is it, how dramatic is it? Oh, someone, you know, on the plane ride got called a V word. Oh, great. Okay, so right off the bat. Okay, who? 20 minutes in. Who brings the most drama? I think a lot of the ladies bring a lot of drama. Okay. I'm sure. Who fought with the most people? Um, there were a lot of battles happening. No, seriously, because you had seven women with these seven different personalities. And, and it was just like, we were in a home, we were in a villa, mm -hmm. and sequestered basically, and long hours of work, and it's just like big attitudes, big egos, big hair. You know, it was just like a lot of things. That's happening. everything we need. That's everything we need. <laughs> everything we need. Yes. Everything you so need. Yes. Big, big attitudes, big hair. Big. <laughs>